Hey everyone, this is David Pike, Motor City Mechanic. Today we're going to do a tool review on a product from Geno's Garage. It's their billet aluminum oil filter removal tool. It's for the 2013s on up. It saves you from making a big mess and also lets you get to the oil filter through the fender well instead of up top. Let me go ahead and start showing you how it works. So this right here is their bill of aluminum oil filter remover for 2013 all the way up to the newest and greatest. Now when I got it I noticed there's a little plastic piece here to help you hold on to it. To me it just didn't have enough for me to grab on. Yes you got the larger portion of the tool which is great but when I go to grab it I also got the filter up here so I don't have a lot of room to get my hand around. So that was the first thing I thought of about changing. Now what I did was I walked to my local Lowe's with this piece right here and what I came out with after going up and down all the aisles was an eyelet. The shaft was probably about another inch and a half longer so I went ahead and cut it off to where I had probably about half an inch of threads. Uh, came with the nut all I did was add in washer and you get the tool it's the same threads there you go now I've got something more I can work with I can use the eyelet to help tighten down the cap on the filter. I can use the eyelet to help loosen it and take it off the filter. And the other thing is, while the oil filter's in there, I've got something to put my finger on and I can grasp it and I can actually pull the filter out. So I've got a lot I can work with. I've got the portion here, but mainly this right here is what helps me get it in and out easier. So a slight modification, nothing major, probably less than $2. So I sent a picture of the modification over to Geno's not too long ago on Facebook and I got a response back that they greatly appreciate it and thought it was an awesome idea. Uh, so what they've done since then is they're in the works of coming up with this as well. They've uh, currently got some eyelets on order so you may see the tool eventually start coming like this instead of with the plastic piece. But they uh, definitely were open to some changes and uh, some improvements otherwise the tool is great and awesome. I didn't want to really change it because it worked great, but I found out that there were some minor issues and that this pretty much eliminated any other problems I had. So here's that opening inside the fender well liner so that you can get to that oil filter if you're going this way instead of from up top. Now your clearance is a little tight. These hoses do flex a little bit, so as you're coming through it's not just going to easily come out. You may have to manipulate it to come out, but once you come out, you got to go from being straight up to turning it and coming out and that's where you have the tendency to spill the oil. So I'm going to reach up in here with the strap type oil filter wrench. Work on getting this thing loose. Maybe a pinner tight, may not. Okay, I think we got loose enough to do by hand. Start backing it up now. Once we get it all the way loose, we're going to hold on to it as much as we can. Once it gets loose and it's free, we're going to just lower it gently to where it rests on the frame. If you can get two hands up in here, great, but it's usually a real tight space. Just keep turning until it's free. Alright, I'm just going to lower it where we can get access to it. Go ahead and grab the tool. We're going to get up in here and start threading it on top of the oil filter. Just reach up in here. Try to pick up the oil filter enough to where you can kind of get level. Have to get the tool started. And we just get a few more turns. Where the rubber seal on the oil filter starts making contact with the tool. So now that the tool is installed, we can actually, we can actually put a hand or a finger through the hole in the eyelet. We can grab the filter and start wiggling it, and we can pull it out. So there you go. Nice seal around it. We're not worrying about it leaking any oil out. The seal is up against the tool, and we had the eyelet that we added, modified the tool to help us get it in and out. So it works great, especially with that eyelet so you can put your finger and have something to grab with. Because mind you, you may have a little oil on there. Your gloves or hands might have something on it. So you're slipping, you're sliding the eyelet. It's pulled straight out. So 
for right now is we can go ahead and grab our replacement filter and another benefit of this tool is we can actually go ahead and pre-fill the oil filter because without the tool when we go in sideways again in the fender well to turn to go up that means any oil we in here is going to have a tendency to just flow back back out with the tool we can go ahead and pre-lube the filter go ahead and grab the 1540 and start filling it up let's say go about three quarters because the reason why I say three quarters is as you're moving the filter around to try to get lined up and stuff if it was completely full I might have the tendency to start spilling back out I will be going three quarters and it should be more than enough to go ahead and get some oil in this filter so when you fire it up we get a good flow of oil straight up to the engine itself so now with oil already in the filter just go ahead and grab the tool any little excess oil you got that you spilled just go ahead and wipe it on the seal help when we're installing it back on the engine and also help with the tool. Tighten it down. You don't want to go too excessively tight because you are unthreading it inside the truck wheel well. So get into where it's snug enough to where it doesn't have any spillage whatsoever. It should be good. And then when I put it up in there to help me back it off as well, I put my finger through there and back. So that way the eyelet serves multiple purposes for help pulling it out, also for loosening it when you're ready to go back on, and also tightening when you're putting it on. Just go ahead and move back over to the truck and start inserting the oil filter. So now we can just put a finger through the eyelet, put one up under it, and guide it up through the hole. Wiggle it as you go. And once we get it in there, we'll stand it up, and then we'll start taking the tool off. Now it's just a matter of unthreading the tool from the filter. There we go. Now just grab your filter, you'll lift straight up. Just rotate it into place. So as you see, the tool works beautifully. It does exactly what it's supposed to. If you add that eyelet, it works even better. So, benefits, you don't spill all everywhere. If you add the eyelet, you got a means of pulling it out so it's easier to remove. And also, if you're gonna pre-lube the old filter, you're not gonna have any problems with spillage when you're going back. So definitely go over to genosgarage.com, check it out. I'm gonna have a link to it in the show notes directly below as well. Otherwise, it does exactly what it's supposed to. So, at this point, this is where I ask for any kind of thumbs up on YouTube. Don't forget, you can like me on Facebook. We're also on Twitter and Instagram as well. If you have any comments or suggestions about the video today, or anything Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, or Ram related, please feel free to email me at david at motorcitymechanic.com, and I will try to get back to you in a timely manner. As always, thanks for watching these videos.